Your customers want solid mockups that communicate requirements and get everybody on the same page. And of course, they don't want to figure out Word documents, export PDFs they have trouble annotating, or mangle hand-drawn art that can't be revised. And don't forget, they want to turn around lots of revisions really fast too. That's where Mockup Builder comes in. No more mail attachments that get lost, no more bad drawings that don't communicate form and function, and no more conference calls where nobody takes notes. Mockup Builder puts an end to all that confusion. Build software and website user interfaces that truly represent your vision. Share that vision with your customer online and manage the revisions effortlessly. After your project's done, export it at any time for reference. If you often build similar interfaces, there's a copy function that will put time back in your timeline. Today, in this video, we are going to take a tour of the main components you'll be using in your projects and itemize key functionality that will make you and your customers happy. Let's start at the top. We'll go a bit deeper into the functionality of everything a little later, but for now, let's review the important parts at a high level. Here on the upper left under File are the functions that allow you to start your projects, load them, save them, start a new page, and export to a variety of common formats. Edit has all the standard editing functionality you would expect. Undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, and delete. As you can see, next to each command is the keystroke equivalent to keep your workflow moving along. The view option helps you focus your attention on the right part of the screen and check things out as they would actually appear. Under the help menu, you can learn more about the team at mockupbuilder.com, contact support, lend your thoughts to our blog, or check out the version you're running. Now over here on the right, this orange button starts the process of sharing your mockup with the customer. Here you can change the font, zoom your presentation, and adjust your grid lines, that's very handy, and start presentation mode. Next, let's have a look at the UI library, found just below the file menu here. Just about every component conceivable is available to your presentations. The All option will have everything you're about to learn about, so we'll start with the second option from the left. Under Big, larger components like graph objects, tab dialogues, and wizard forms. Under Buttons, common selecting controls like checkboxes, combo boxes, submit buttons and media controls. Common will give you quick access to the most commonly used UI elements like buttons, images, and text. When you need to represent containers on your mockups, Mockup Builder gives you a wide variety to choose from like web pages and pop-up windows. Layout has the controls you use to give your presentation a very real-world feel. Tabbed windows, accordions, scroll bars, and horizontal dividers. Here under Markup, selections include post-its, sequence numbers, and arrows. And of course here, we have media-related controls. A cool cover flow diagram, a street map representation, and of course, images and audio. And under text, options like titles, text areas, multi-line text boxes, lists, and much more. And finally, under Mobile, all the representations of components from a mobile platform. Devices, keyboards, search dialogues, icon displays, and buttons. Our next major area is the canvas, here. This is where the work gets done. The grid can be turned on or off depending on your preference and resized for easy zooming and location. 
You'll also notice that these handy reference guides help me quickly line up any components so the presentation doesn't have a strange look to it. And our last major area is the common command area. We try to make it as easy as possible to get to the commands you need and use most often. Here in the upper right are the most commonly used commands, and additionally you can access context-sensitive commands by right-clicking on an object. Just below the common commands are the screen manager controls. Here you can quickly add, copy, and remove screens without a lot of fuss. Now let's say your web pages have aspects of a common look and feel. You just need to create it once and then turn it into a template. That way you're only dealing with the changes across all your pages. Well, that's it, and I hope you enjoyed this overview of what you can accomplish with MockupBuilder.com so easily. I enjoyed presenting it for you.